my favorite part is stickers. You get a few of those. You can see that. License plate cover. Instructions. Your boots. That's your stripping seal, whatever you want to call it, from the top of the intake. Filter. And I got the uh, oil filter. They uh, flow with a lot more air than the dry filters. Oh yeah, she's definitely oiled. See the residue all over it. But they come pre pre-oiled, so save me I guess a few bucks for the first few months until I have to give it a clean or whatever. Here's your tray and box, whatever you want to call that. Uh, this one I got is designed to it'll be sitting on the in the uh, on top of the stock air box, so it clips on on both ends, and it'll sit like this. Filter will be inside here, pointing down towards the uh, air duct on the factory box which I'm going to be uh, taking that box out and opening up the uh, airway coming from the bottom side of the fender here along with the one that's on the um, outside of the fender. So I'm just going to modify that just to get a bit more air and then uh, do his data log because I'm pretty sure this will run it a bit more lean. Um, and then the new exhaust setup for it straight through. I just like to make sure all the numbers are good. That's a nice little piece. There's your intake tube. Aluminum with like a textured finish on the outside. Spot for the uh, mass air sensor. All right, I'm gonna get on with it here. Got uh, clamps loosened up. going to take it out as a hole versus the clip. If I can, I'm going to get it clamped on here. Just going to put that over here in a safe spot. Maybe up on that rag. And then everything else should pop out. position here. Squeeze those in. That off. Can't see this one. Not bad. So, once you get that off, and on here, you can see I had to wrap this around some duct tape just to build up the thickness of it because I had an air leak uh, connecting to the air box and uh, I was getting a kind of a erratic idle. So, whenever you're doing this, make sure you got um, everything sealed up nice and tight so you don't run into those issues. Go off a coupler. And then get the box out. There you 
Okay, well, I won't be needing that anymore. So I'll just put that there for now. This is the uh, one of those reusable cannons. Or it is, no, sorry, this is the AEM. One of the dry, slow filters. I'll put that over here for now. All right, so. Okay, so um, these new hoses that come with the kit, they don't have the quick connects factory style here, where you just depress these to take it off. But um, I'm just taking them off my uh, other intake. I don't feel like using those small little ring clamps. So yeah, pretty simple to do. Just open these up and slide these on. And then you just kind of, for this style here, you just squeeze them together, give it an extra click, and then you both got factory star clamps. So that's that. So down in here, I opened up the hole in here, which was blocked off, and then drilled out a bunch of even holes all the way along here to bring up the air from the bottom and uh, kept that nice and clean looks pretty good so um, yeah there's a plug back here plug here and one on the outside that has rubber that it snaps into so just make sure that's on um, right down here that's what I was going to say there we go. I got a piece of metal, use the factory screw, and also a factory screw right there just to catch the outer edge of here because the whole thing was just really loose. It's a really crappy design. I'm not really happy with that. Um, the other designs have um, four, four tabs on each corner, each corner here, just like the factory, and they used to bolt in, but they changed the design for some reason. And uh, yeah, it's kind of silly. 